Dad, when are you ever going to let me use the chainsaw? You want to use the chainsaw? Yeah. All right, well, let's get some protective gear on and we'll let you use it. Really? Yeah. First thing you got to do is lose them shoes and get a pair of boots. All right, that's better. Okay, we're heading in the right track. I think we're already at the t-shirt. America. So you need gloves, something to put on that head, and some ear protection. And there's a knob on the back that tightens it so it doesn't slip down on your face. Feel it? Feel good? Oh, I can't hear you. That's what you're supposed to say. So I'll start the chainsaw for you, and then you can run it. I'll explain you how to do it, all right? Okay. Happy or not happy? <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to do. We have two pieces of ash here that are really naughty. They're naughty ash. Naughty, naughty ash. So we're going to cut them in half, okay? So what I want you to do is keep the saw the way it is, nice and level. That way we don't run the chain into the dirt. Now there's a bunch of uh, old scraps here. There's no stones or anything that's going to make the, the teeth dull if we go down too far. But you, the idea is to keep it flat as long as possible. And then we'll roll it over and we'll cut from the other side. We'll do that with both pieces. Okay? Nice and easy. Okay. So you're doing pretty good. I had a pretty big knot in it. So now from this side, you can start with the tip of the bar and just get it in here and just kind of run it. Just you'll feel the the bar or the chain it would just kind of pull forward and then just keep going, but keep keep what you're doing, have a firm grip on it. So I put a little bit into it and she finished it off. See how knotted that was? Two big knots in there. Now you can do the same thing over here. Get in there and get it. That's alright. At the end, you ran the tip of your bar down into the ground. That's no good because that'll kill your teeth. And the other thing I should have said was you don't use the chain and the bar like a cutting, like it'll cut. You don't have to run it back and forth like a knife. I know I've seen other people do that and I should explain that first, but what did you think? You cut two pieces of firewood. Yay. Yay. What did you think? Be honest. I don't like it. It's intimidating. Yeah, that's against very dangerous. And I, it's probably more my fault more because I probably should have took more time to show you and explain what was going on, you know what I mean? You're only as good as what I teach you. It's not really a baptism by fire kind of thing. It's something you gotta learn. So, well, we got all the wood cut. Can you imagine doing that times, I don't know, 500? That's probably how much I did here. And the wood splitters right here, we don't have one of those gas powered electric ones. So I'll split by hand. So I'm trying to get some help as I'm getting older. It's nice to have someone else. It's hard on the back. So that was kind of fun though, right? You see all those chainsaws sitting in the garage and you're like, well, what's going on with that?
Oh, we've done it before. We've not not so much here, but it, when we went to camp and did all that wood for Grandpa. So, well, you did good. Two pieces. They weren't the easiest to cut. The, using the steel 250, that's a nice, nice uh, smaller homeowner saw. It's got power. It's probably maybe just a tad big for you, but that's what we got. I've been using the top hand 193, but I was glad that you came out and wanted to do it. I appreciate that. So now we have all the wood we need for this upcoming winter to heat the home. So thanks you guys for watching. Uh, maybe you'll learn something valuable from this one, but we certainly appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you next time from Neighborhood Go-To Guy and his daughter. Bye.